Hello, and today we're going to learn how to make the AK-47 rifle um, with ammunition. Okay. Um, I don't know what you could call this as an advanced tutorial or... Um, whatever, but what's going on with the thing over here? Alright, I'm not going to worry about it, I'll fix that in the tutorial. Um, I'm a, we're going to make one of these from scratch. You know, it ain't the greatest model you've probably ever seen, but... Oh, don't worry, I'll teach everybody how to do this stock too, because I had a lot of problems with it. I'll try to plane in a cube, but the best thing to use is a circle. So, what you're going to need for this tutorial is Blender, of course. And a resource image of an AK-47 that I'm probably going to put up for download. So we're just going to get started here. And also you're going to need a piece of paper and a pen so you can remember all these colors like this. This color is R is 0. Point, yeah, we you know you know what I mean. So you're going to need a pen and paper. So we're just going to close out of that and we're going to open up a new file. And then we're going to go to view and we're going to go to background image and we're going to select our background image. My background image is located in my assault rifle folder, and I have a K-47 modeling pick, and it is a PNG, and notice it looks like it was drawn. And we'll get to the point in a minute. So the first thing we're going to make is going to be the this brown part. This is the first thing I made, and I guess it can be the first thing we made. I don't know. But we're going to make each part individual, and then you'll parent them together, which in return will help you do whatever you're doing like if you're making a game you need to make slow poly and then you're going to make sure make sure that whenever you extrude over one of these that you leave an area about the same width with lord over here and we'll continue from there so pull this back extrude I'm gonna scale it down some and then pull it up and extrude it again If you're making this for show, which is probably what I'm making it for, the other one I made is pretty much for a game. You, need, uh, you can, I don't care how many faces you use. This one's just gonna be for show because I wanted to, because you need to make it as many, as more light, lifelike as you can. So that you model that top part, oh, we need to get over here right quick. Um, extrude this down and then scale it down, and I guess that size is pretty good. Um, so. You can pull all these vertices out over here. There you go. Alright. We're going to select this plane over here and we're going to subdivide it once. And you're going to extrude it down on the y axis. And then you're going to pull this up over here. Pull this over. Kind of get it all aligned so you can get ready to extrude and make the rest of this thing. Which, trust me, is kind of fun if you know what you're doing. It's going to be a frustrating pain in the neck, like some people call it. But yeah, then you're going to... That's probably one of the good ideas. <laughs> Subdivide this, because like I said, this is not for a game. If you're making a game model, try to use as less faces as you possibly can. I had to learn the hard way. Put it that way. Um, then you're going to just keep extruding this down you get it complete. So I'm going to shut up right quick and I'm going to finish modeling this. to select all the vertices and extrude it out on the Z axis and it doesn't matter how much size you put into it you can go back to it and redo it later so that's just make sure that's all one part and I guess I think I have enough time to do the barrel and the 
front end of this. You're just gonna add another plane and yeah, that's fine. Um, pull this. Whatever you feel. Subdivide it once and extrude it. And extrude it again. Kind of make sure all the pieces over here connect. Also, a good tip is to go into wireframe and do this. That way you can see where you're going. Alright, there we go. You just keep doing this, of course. And then this will be all we do today. After this. Oh yeah. And you just have some fun with this. It will, modeling stuff like this will get frustrating at times. But don't just throw down the towel and say you're done. Just keep trying. Oh yeah, we don't do that part. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to show you all a little tip on that. How to do that rod looking thing. If you've ever seen an AK-47, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, keep extruding. Crap, where'd that come from? It just came out of nowhere. Um, so... I'm gonna finish this as quickly as I can, and I just selected the wrong word to completely. Trying to see what we can do here. Get this thing moving as fast as we can. Let's say, what crap did I just do? Alright. Yeah, I can't see anything because of my house. It's like dark and whatnot. So. Keep extruding, keep extruding. Alright, there we go. We have that pretty much. We're almost done. Extrude this down all the way down and then just put this these vertices right here up and then just subdivide it again and then pull this across and there you go you have that part done so we're going to extrude this the same length length uh, my word and then as the other part and go ahead and set, no not quit hold on I'm gonna have to use these key commands and whatnot So, next part, we will most likely do the barrel and the sight and that little rod thing and probably get started on the magazine over here. So, stick around. Bye.